Hey guys, it's Hannah, and I know I'm outside and the lighting's probably horrible. And it's probably super loud, but I don't think the lighting is horrible right now. Don't quote me on that. This might not be the best video that I've filmed, but whatever. Uh, so I'm outside, and shh, shh. it's really pretty even though it's like 90 degrees outside and I'm dying. But I'm in front of my pool, and fountains are going so it's kind of loud. And my dog is right there breathing really loudly. Go somewhere else, baby. But I wanted to do my empties video. I have this box full of empties that I've been meaning to film a video on for like forever. So I'm just gonna do that right now. Okay, first thing that I have is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Dry Shampoo, which I got in an influencer box months and months ago. And I had a full size of another one, so I waited to use this one until I ran out of that one. And this one is gone, but it has kind of a weird smell at first it smelled like sunscreen so i just spray it um but it's just the air and the aerosol like there's no more product coming out it's just air next thing that i have is a fake tanning product which might be funny because i'm really pale but i use this on my legs so they don't look as pale as the rest of me because it's not cute but this is a, another travel size of the jergens natural glow and this is for fair to medium another travel mini size would be this sephora supreme cleansing foam and this kind of started everything with my cleansing foam. Uh, what's it called? Maggie! Maggie, be quiet! You are so loud! It's because I'm in the gate. She's just, she's just looking so cute, but you can't come in. But my hair is getting so hot. I'm getting sweaty and gross. But Sephora Supreme Cleansing Foam, this started my like or slash obsession with um, like gels and foams and oils for cleaning the makeup off my face instead of makeup remover or wipes because I find that these work a lot better. And I don't know if they are still selling this right now on Sephora, but I think I got this on sale, so it might not be in stock anymore. I'm not sure. But this is a hand sanitizer and this one has gotten all liquidy, which is kind of gross, but this is Sweet Pea. And I don't have more of these because I bought the like 10 ounce, 7 ounce maybe, I'm not sure, of hand sanitizer. So I'm just taking them and like twisting the lids off and pumping it in there. So I've got, would you hush? Maggie. Shh. Oh, now I got two dogs behind the camera. They're not filming me, they're just bothering me. Okay, so yeah, so I started filling up the other ones so I won't have to buy as many of these. Um, and then the last non-makeup makeup product is the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleanser. And this is just a spray. It doesn't, It's. I mean it's empty, but it doesn't spray out very well. The um, actual spray dispenser is not the best. Um, Merritt's probably gonna get in the pool, so if you see her behind me, that's what she's doing. She's swimming, duh, she's not drowning. She might be tanning, I don't know. But the nozzle for the spray isn't the best. Sometimes it would just completely soak my brushes when I just wanted to get like a spot clean to switch colors. But I do have another one of these because it is $3 and it works, so it gets the job done. So I have mostly face products in my actual makeup. I have four concealers, all from different brands. This one is the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer, and I used this one years ago when I had just started my channel. If you watch some of my um, like Get Ready With Me videos, I think I used this. So, I mean, I did use this one up, but it's like really heavy compared to other containers. More concealers. I have the e.l.f. Coverall Concealer, which probably lasted me about three weeks because I do use a lot of concealer. And this one just got to the point where I had to scrape and product barely ever came out of this because, I don't know, it just never did what I wanted it to. This one is the Maybelline Dream Touch Lumi Concealer, which I got a while ago. And this one was a nice concealer, but not very sanitary because you're putting it on your face and then putting it back in the lid and then twisting it up and putting it back on your face. But this was a really good highlighting concealer. I like concealers for under my eyes mostly. 
because I do have quite dark under eyes, so it's something that I have to um, cover and contain and change. So, and then I have the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer, which I have not been able to find anywhere else. So if you know where you could find this, let me know because this was probably one of my favorite concealers. And it lasted me way, way longer than any of my other concealers have, even though it's empty right now. Okay, now foundations. I actually have another concealer that I forgot to talk about. I liked this one. This is the e.l.f. Um, this one was the tone correcting concealer and this one is the cover all got confused. This one I liked, but it's a bit too dark for my skin. So I used it under my eyes to cancel out the yellowness and it worked, but I mean, didn't match the rest of my face. So I had like darker under eyes because yeah, so complications. So for foundations, I have a bunch of, I have two Maybelline and two Revlon, so not too exciting. But I have the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB in light sheer tint, and this was surprisingly not too dark for me. So it made me look yellow, and it just wasn't a favorite. The other Maybelline um, foundation that I have is the Maybelline Fit Me in the stick form and I really liked this one. All of these are sweating. That's not good. I'm not usually super oily. Uh, I have combo skin but sometimes I feel so gross and so oily and right now would be one of those times but that is because I'm sitting outside in 90 degree weather. So not my best idea. But I did like that foundation except for the fact that it's about nine dollars and doesn't have too much product in it that I wouldn't want to repurchase this one. Next one that I have is the Revlon Color Stay in the Combo Oily Skin. And this one was nice. The color worked really well for my skin because it was the lightest color, but this smells horrible. If you have ever smelled this and you enjoy it, I'm sorry, but I think it smells disgusting and I hated having to put this on my face. And I'm getting more spoiled with my foundations and I'm getting ones with pumps. So not pumps are not my best friend anymore, which is kind of sad, but I'm becoming too high maintenance for these drugstore foundations. The next one that I have is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped. And it's the same thing with the Maybelline Shine Free Stick Fit Me, whatever it's called, who cares. Um, too expensive and I mean, this was a good foundation, and the only problem that I have with it is that I would end up using a ton just to get it all over my face, and I didn't really like that because it was so expensive, and it's so bulky, and you can see all the space in the packaging that you're not getting product from, and it really is not great. Okay, I have some samples. The Smashbox photo finish hydrating under eye primer which I liked because I have really dry under eyes and that really helped to um, hydrate them and it helped get rid of some of the lines that are under my eyes. And then I have the Urban Decay Lip Junkie. This one smells really good. It's really minty but it came with one of my Urban Decay palettes so I just used it occasionally. And then I have a mini professional which I've been debating on getting another size of the professional because I haven't used this in a while and I don't know if with the way my skin has kind of changed if it'll still be the way I remember it being especially for a $30 primer. One powder which is kind of surprising if you know me I go through powders like that. I've hauled probably probably the most things that I've hauled is powders but I have only one this is the e.l.f. translucent mattifying powder and I've used this one up. The only problem that I had with it, like other e.l.f. products, is that they had so little product that it really did not last me that long. But I don't have any other powders because I use so many that I forget to put them in here. Then I have some eye products. I have the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen in coffee because I ordered this offline and they didn't have any of the black. But I don't really like eyeliner pens. I prefer anything else than these with the marker tips. I'm just not a huge fan of it. Like underwater, it out. Hi, let me try again. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's the front hand thing. Sorry. 
So I have one mascara because I um, don't really think to keep my mascaras, but this one didn't dry out. It just got really kind of, did the opposite of drying out. It got too like clumpy for me. This is the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. And it just got gross. So I figured that this one could be retired and I could move on to another mascara, which I did. So that's great. Um, I have one cheek product and then the rest are lip products. So this is the Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in Pink Frosting, which I remember I bought and then I had a hard time using just because of the consistency of it. It was really hard to apply like in any shape or form. It was impossible to apply with a brush. I even tried it with a duo fiber which are supposed to be able to pick up product and place it really well, but it was just so, like, chunky that it was, like, impossible to blend out. So, they don't sell these anymore. They probably realized that the um, formulation of it wasn't that great, but you could probably find the color in their Dream Bouncy blushes because they just took the colors and reformulated them in a new packaging. So I have two lip moisturizing products. I have the Nivea in the blue container. And then I have two of the e.l.f. matte lip colors. These both broke on me. So don't know how much of a fan I am. There's like, they both snapped. So not the best. They're probably better for a little bit more, but I have the Natural, almost whacked myself in the face, and Rich Red. And then I have two more lip products. This one is the uh, Revlon Lip Butter in Sugar Frosting, which is just a pink glossy color. And then I have one more product. This is the last one, and this is a lipstick. This is the e.l.f. lipstick in Party Pink. And I used up all of this one. I ended up, um, I like using a brush to put it on, that's why it's completely flat. But I used this color for months. It lasted me forever. It's a really pretty color. I think it really suited my skin tone. I don't think I have any videos in this because uh, the point that I started using it, I was not filming. So that is all of my empty products. So it's really hot outside, so I'm gonna go inside and sit under the fan for about 20 minutes so I can cool down. I hope you can see Merit creeping. If you can't, she is. Um, that is everything that I have to tell you guys. I have some pretty exciting announcements to come up soon, so make sure to subscribe to check that out. And I have videos filmed that I need to edit, and that should be everything. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!